everyone, I'm Kristen from Page Simple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut and assemble our principal banners. Um, we have two different banners that we offer. We have um, a happy birthday banner that has you know, the, the letters for happy birthday um, throughout the entire banner. And then we also offer um, just a plain patterned banner that has different patterns that coordinate with your party. So the process for, for printing and assembling is the same for both of these banners. The banners are formatted to be printed on 8.5 by 11 inch paper. So you can see here, um, there's two banner images per page. Um, the actual banner flags are 5 by 7, so um, there's two, two flags per 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. To cut these out, you really just need scissors or a paper cutter. Um, I like to use a paper, a paper trimmer because you get the nice clean lines. It is hard to get in the little crevice right here with a paper trimmer. So what I'll do is I'll cut like a square around and then use scissors to actually like cut out the triangle here. So once those are cut out, and you wanna make sure it's on a heavy, a heavy card stock so your banner is sturdier and the, the flags don't curl. So once, once they're cut out, it, it looks like this. I added the holes to this myself. Um, you don't have to add holes, you can, you know, you can tape, tape string or jute or ribbon to the back. There's so many different ways that you can string the banners, but my preference is to, to string holes. So I just use, you know, a standard hole punch and I'll punch a hole in the front or in the top corners of each image to make sure that you're doing it the same on every banner. What I do is I'll, I'll use one as a guide and then I'll just like put it on top of another one and punch it, make sure I'm punching in the same place. So once you have these cut out, if you choose to punch it out, I can show you how to string it together. So there's two different ways that you can string it together. One way is to thread, thread, the, thread whatever material you're using um, through the front so that most of the material is on the back and then it comes out the front. So I'll show you what that looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm threading it through the front of the flag and then running it across the back and then bringing it back out through the front. So when you do that, your banner looks like this. So you've got the thread going in, most of the thread is behind the flag image and then it comes out and then goes into the next image. So that's one way to thread it. The other way to do it is to thread it from behind. So you'll, you'll put your string or whatnot, you'll thread it from the back of the flag, run it across the front, and then thread it back to the back. So when you do that, this is what it looks like. See how you have the thread comes from the back, runs across the front, and then goes to the back to the back again. And it's just a different way to do it, you know, depending on what kind of look you want. So those are the two different ways. Again, I, you can you can tape the ribbon or jute to the back. I just like the cleaner look with this, and it's also it's less likely to fall apart if you use string or ribbon or jute. Um, and you want to make sure when you do thread, make sure you have a lot of extra. I don't have a lot here because I'm using this just for display purposes, but you want to make sure that there's plenty of extra on each end because you know you never know how much you're going to need to tie it up. 